it's going to be a different kind of day. Today, guys, I am going to be looking through a few mystery bags. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's dig right into it. All right, guys, so here's the table, guys, filled with all kinds of goodies. I am going to go through each bag with you guys, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my mask. I don't have anybody out here with me today, so you guys will be in the harness directly on the stuff, okay? So unfortunately, you will not be able to see me uh, and my lovely face, but you will be able to see everything that uh, I am digging in, okay? So let's go ahead and get this party started. Let me put you guys here in the harness. Like that put on my mask shout out to my girl for getting me these gloves these masks she got me about i want to say about five of them with my brand name as well as my uh my real name so shout out to my friend for giving me those okay then i'm gonna go ahead and put on my glove let me take off these keys all right first thing first we're gonna get this bag right here we have a bunch of old magazines. That looks like we have a bunch of old magazines. Animal crackers. Let's see, this is dated back in fall 1989. Look at that. So I am gonna look through some of these magazines. Oh my goodness, Cook Brothers. I remember Cook Brothers. It's a, it was, it's a wholesale company here in Chicago and the stuff is pretty cheap and as they say you you get what you pay for yeah absolutely right because some of the stuff there falls apart within a matter of a year I know what that is. Okay. bunch of magazines guys yeah a lot of magazines yeah Oh, look at that rusted out pillowcase. Probably been in there since 1989. Let's see, that's Yeah. Teaching exceptional children. 1990. Hmm. Huh. I'm sure information in there has been updated. Yeah. All right. Here is an old Macy's. Look at that. Old Macy's. What is it? Bag or something? Or tissue paper? We'll keep that. That's vintage. Well, probably not because Macy's isn't old. Some old Macy's paper. have a mirror hey guys yeah all this is old paper i gotta be careful because it's glass in here old papers not too much okay here is the old u.s mail carrier domestic that i showed you guys a while back now i'm able to really get a closer look up on it this is oh 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 so we got that, I'll put that to the side. Then we have this bag here. Okay, An old school photo frame. You can tell because it's a red felt, they don't make frames like that anymore we have this old looking belt here old sock look at these firecrackers guys oh my gosh throw those away i'm not a big fan of fireworks i always have a, a, a nervous when i see children playing with fireworks because they could be quite dangerous i've heard too many horror stories about fireworks Look at this old hammer. 
This is old, old, old. I wish it was dated, but it's not. And this is still really old. No dates, no engravings. It's just a broken hammer. No, no markings, anything, just a broken hammer. So I'll see if that's worth anything on eBay. If not, I'm going to toss it and put it back in the bag. Hang in. Then we have these, whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm tossing it out. We have this old chef's apron, I believe. I don't know, this looks like it's some kind of initialed dress or something. I don't know what that is, guys. Look like a handmade apron. And the initials are CBJ. CBJ. So, toss that out. What's in here? Oh, look like some bookends or some type of, uh, yeah, solid wooden corbel. I'll keep that, donate that. Somebody can probably use that. We have this. Look like a pillowcase. Aww, cute little kitty. Guys, a lot of this stuff is so old. Let's see, the post date, 1992. So we went into our time machine, guys, and went back to 1992. Forms. Audrey Hepburn. Fundraiser. A bunch of look like important papers. Tossing those out because I do not care to have those or keep those in my possession. Don't want anybody's personal information because I don't care about anybody else's personal information. That's not why I do this. I don't do this to steal anybody's identity. I don't do this to sell anybody's identity. I do this to simply uh, make a living off the things that I find as valuable as well as give back to those in need. Just as simple as that. Oh, look, she's pregnant. How old is this picture? 1970. She looks as if she's about... I don't know. She looks as if she's about... Oh, nine months pregnant. Whoever she is. August 1970. Oh, look at the baby. He's out there without his little shoes. Aww. She's indeed pregnant, though, guys. Huh. Interesting. Let me see this one. Aloha Airlines. So this family was going to Hawaii. July 1970. And a bunch of ladies chilling, hanging out. August 1970. Neil Fowler. What's in here? A bunch of lipstick. She was a red type of gal. As well as like a pinkish look. She was a reddish, pinkish type of gal. These boots are made for walking. Walking is what I do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she was a pinkish, reddish type of gal. This actually is a pretty color. I think it's pretty cool when I see people keep their lipstick in this type of shape. Mine's is always flat. I never really keep it in a certain shape. I just put it on, okay? But some people, they um, intentionally try to keep their lipstick in a certain shape, which I think is pretty cool and interesting. Thank you for your kind expression of sympathy. 
Thank you for your sincere thank you sincerely for your kind expression of sympathy. It was deeply appreciated. I'll keep these. I remember one time I found some sympathy cards I was able to give to my aunt um, for my uncle, for those that attended my uncle's funeral. So I'll keep those, just never know. All right guys, so I had to bring the table over here some because it overheated and it cut off, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys back in the harness so we can continue where we left off. Perfect. All right, so this is where we left off. I don't know what this is. It looked like some type of wind chime, homemade wind chime, not sure, but toss it out. Okay, more papers for rent, $650, two bedroom. Doesn't give a year, wish I knew the year. Because if we get anything for six hundred and fifty dollars now, it's going to be in a location that we really don't want to stay in. We have this propane fuel fire container. Oh gosh, look at that! That is old, old, old. I'm gonna see if is there anything hidden behind it. No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything behind it. All right. And then the rest of this stuff is just old nails, old, look at that, old vintage keys. Doesn't have a date. Oh gosh, look how old it is. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this bag, guys. So I'm gonna toss this whole thing out. All right, I'm gonna toss this all out. So we're gonna put this right here. Hey, son, give me a minute. I'm almost done, okay? All right, guys, so we have this bag here. And what is this? A Super 8 Sun Gun Movie Light. It feels as if it's in here. Let's see. What is that? There it is. Look at that. And we're going to test this out along with the other stuff that's over there. And we're going to see if everything that I found is working. Okay. So I'm going to take this over there and test it out as well. So I'll push this to the side for now. I'm sorry guys, I gotta keep adjusting you because I just wanna make sure I have the right angle so you guys can see everything. Look at this, an old roll atlas. Wow, that's pretty old. People don't even use atlases or maps hardly since we have GPSs, right? Like that stuff is obsolete. And you'll think that people will, you know, keep them in their cars just in case. You know, they are in a crunch. The phone is dead and nobody's around. You will think people will keep maps, but nope. Here's one, guys, from Mexico, Cartans, Mexico, 1975. I wasn't even born when that was published. What's that? That's old. Empty. Let's see. Gettysburg address. Abraham Lincoln. Let's see. Is it there? Yep, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lincoln's Gettysburg address. I'm sure this is a replica, but just the simple fact that this is here is pretty cool. Interesting. Okay. Keep that right there. Wow. What is this? Some old papers and newspaper clippings that were saved. Wow. This is old stuff here. 
Here's an old vacuum cleaner. Oof. Like a vacuum cleaner cover. Here's some old shears or garden shears. But it's so old and rusted. You can't even move them. Look at this. An old brush with the seahorse. Pretty cool, right? The rest of the stuff in here is quite old. Maple syrup. Look at this old can, guys. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they sell maple syrup. Look at that. This is an old container. I'll see what that's worth on eBay. Something broke inside of here. Let's see, what is this? Made in England. Look at that, with the coffee still in there. There's no telling how old this is. Wow. Look at this old keychain. Is that who would put this heavy thing on their keys? Look at that. That's pretty heavy. Is it is it an E? What is it? Do you hold it like this? I don't know, but it looks as if it's brass. I'll leave that out for the scrapper. We have a screwdriver. You can never have enough old. We have this old flashlight. Let's see now. An old flashlight. Wow. I wonder if it's working. I wonder if I have batteries for it. Let's see. That's pretty old, guys. I think I have some batteries for this. I'm going to see. Hope I do. What is, I think it takes D batteries. Oh, dag. I mean, it's all cracked right here. Look. All right. I'll put it to the side. some ribbon if you need a dispenser for it all right guys and i think that's about it for that bag i'm gonna have to toss all of this stuff out look stuff lying might as well use this brush huh perfect throw this in the garbage i want to see to get to that Look at that. This little brush came in handy. Perfect. Okay. All right, now let's go in here. Guys, I see a bone. I see a freaking bone. What the heck is it? Oh my gosh. And those are human remains. Those are human freaking remains. Is it? No, that's too big to be a human remain. Let's see, what the heck? What the heck is this? No, that's some type of animal. I'm gonna throw up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, guys. Look. Oh my gosh, it's giving me the creeps. Oh my gosh. I look, I got chill bumps. I don't know if you can see that. What's this then? Let's see. Guys, it's the same thing, look. Bones. Look at that. <laughs> uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. 
<laughs> what the heck is this? It's a vertebrae. Oh my gosh. See, guys, this is the people are always asking me, what's the weirdest thing you've ever found? And this is it, guys. This is by far the weirdest thing I've ever freaking found in the dumpster. All right, guys, you ready? On the count of three. Let's see what this is. It's the vertebrae. <laughs> it's definitely the vertebrae of some that was some living thing. It's too big to be a human remains. It's too big for that. This is this this belongs to a dog or mm -mm, something was was. Who was this person, and why did they say the remains of a beast? It's definitely a beast because it's it's too big to be a human remains. Who was this person, and why did they save the remains of a beast? Things that make you go, hmm, right? Oh, my gosh. Mm-mm. Okay, we're going to push that to the side. Push that to the side. Mm. See, look. That's definitely a vertebrae for sure. But it doesn't belong to a human. Oh, wow. So, if you ever wanted to know, you guys got... First I view, you guys are my first witness to the weirdest, craziest thing I've ever seen, dumpster diving. That is it. That took the cake. And I don't understand why the person saved it. But let's go continue on. Oh, 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 oh,